amplifier. It was new for this year. Got it from Amazon. It's 200 bucks. Well, it comes in a nice plain box here. It was Prime, Amazon Prime. So that's good. I'll have a link in the description. Got my trusty Jeep knife. It's a fairly small device. Not much padding in the box. So here's the actual device, or actual packaging. So it's the kicker key 180.4 amplifier, should be 180 watts, four channels. And it also comes with this auto EQ. So essentially you plug this in, hit a button, it'll beep a couple times, it'll make sounds, it should. Uh, tone out your speakers. This is going to go in a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. I was looking at the Alpine Power Pack. Uh, this seemed comparable and also had the benefit of the Auto EQ. And I have kicker speakers. I know in theory it doesn't matter, but in my brain it sounded cool to match them up. I have the kicker Mopar 77 Kick 10 speakers for my Jeep Wrangler. And the guy from Kicker told me to get this. I have also a 10 inch subwoofer in the back that's a Kicker vehicle specific solution, BSS. Uh, it's a 200 watt amp tied into a 10 inch sub. That will be independent of that. So this will run the four uh, coax speakers, the four. 77 kick 10 speakers and then the kicker BSS sub will run on its own and I'm gonna try to hook this up to my Android head unit that you can see in my other videos I'm gonna do a little unboxing all right nice little Colored guide here. Look, look. Good packaging overall. Seems like a fairly large book. Seems pretty good. So here is the auto EQ portion. Of course, you want to eat this. Nice little snack. So you can plug that in. This little button here, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's a button there. And this guy has like a micro. You put this in like around where you're driver's seat is around the headpiece and this will make tones and stuff right? here is the wiring harness so this rubber strap thing is what you use I believe to hold this guy to your seat head while you're testing it so you only got to do that as like a one time setup or anytime you change something So this plugs in. Here's your actual tanker key amplifier. It's fairly small, size of my hand, right? I plan on putting this. I originally plan on putting it in the glove box, but I think I have a new plan. It should fit in the glove box, it's small enough, right? So you plug this side in here and this and this way here, right? And then these run to your regular speakers. Power and ground. Little fuse guy comes with it. So that's cool. And then you 
put this on this side. And the RCAs will go from your head unit to feed in this way here. Uh, if you have a line out control, you plug them right into there. Plug this guy into here. And you have a bunch of settings there you can mess with. You can see up here you have a high pass filter. And then this side goes to your actual speakers. So, what uh, you'll see in another video, I said that's small enough to go in the glove box. Uh, I have a Jeep Wrangler instead, so I got this off of eBay. It's just a little bit $50 under uh, seat amp rack. So, basically, I'm just going to mount this guy onto there. You know, I got plenty of room to mess around with it, trying to figure out how to set it up. So, I tend to change out things a lot. So, I'm going to try to make this as connectable as possible. Or you know, disconnectable as possible. So, I got these kicker wires. So, I got these kicker KISL, also off of Amazon. Should turn a line out into. Should let you convert between uh, speaker wire and RCA connections. Right. Okay, here's your speaker wire. Turns it to an RCA input. So. Goal here my head unit has RCA inputs uh, but I also have I'm using these Android head units and some people say they're funky so need be I'll use the line level outputs from the head unit and plug them into these guys, right? And for this side, I don't want to splice this into my harness, so what I'm gonna do, well, I might wanna cut open my factory harness. So I got these, I got the male side and the female side of this, and I'm gonna splice these together. So it will all be plug and play inside my Jeep. All right, I'll make a full video. This was just kind of unboxing to show you what's in here. I'll make a full video of wiring up the harness for the Jeep, and then I'll make a full video for installing the key amplifier in the Jeep, and uh, thoughts on that as well. But it'll probably be a week or two because it's uh, I'm gonna go out town. All right. All right, so I ordered this off of eBay. This is a under seat Jeep amp rack. Some guy from Wrangler Forum makes them, I believe. Uh, I think it was about 50 bucks. Came pretty quick. I've had it for a while. I haven't even opened it yet. I believe this guy makes them on his own. Packaging, just a box. Comes with instructions. Like that, it's just, uh, Pretty sure it's homemade. What this guy must be a metal guy or something. I don't know. 
but a couple people on G Forum said that it worked great. So basically, I'm going to remove the passenger seat, put this into the rails, and I'm mount an amp to here. I don't really know which way it goes. I'll have to read more about it. But yeah, I don't want to make this stuff. 50 bucks seems pretty good. Metal, of course, right? Alright, so uh, this is too short for just any kind of unboxing. I'll just show this as far as actual install.